Welcome to Prayer for America, and guess where I'm at? I'm visiting Dr. Tony Abram. Tony, oh. it's so good to see you, <laughs> and well, we were hoping to get the ladies on too, but it's just a quick reading. We will still see you uh, here um, before we go back to California, but Tony, it's so good to see you. Would you greet the people all around the world? Well, we give you greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and it's been our pleasure for Walter and Nina Zagarevich to be here for a couple of days where we can have fellowship together, catch up on some of the things of God. And, and uh, Brother Walter has been a great blessing uh, putting uh, up some pictures <laughs> that my wife has had uh, in our trailer for a number of years. So they're on the wall now and my wife is happy. <laughs> and, but it's a joy most of all to see both both Walter and Nina, and uh, it's a joy to have them here with us. Praise the Lord. Well, praise the Lord, and uh, we are praying for you. Uh, we apologize. We're not, we haven't been able to be uh, live at every moment uh, as we were hoping to be because of time differences, lack of proper internet connection, but we thank you for being with us, and if you are Spanish-speaking, we had... Uh, uh, the pastor from Juan, uh, Jose Luis from uh, Cuba on this morning. I trust you had a chance to, if you speak Spanish, to see that broadcast. But uh, we are continuing on to uh, Florida, have a meeting there Sunday, and then uh, next Sunday in Atlanta, the following Sunday in Sacramento, California. Well, um, Brother Tony, there are people out there with needs, and there are people with fear because of all this uh, new variant and all yes. and other things. Would you pray for those people out there? I will, but first I would like you to tell where you're going to be in South Florida this Sunday. <laughs> yes, we'll be in Northport at the Slavic Church. Uh, uh, Pastor Maslow, uh, we will be there and with friends and, and getting reacquainted with the church there. We haven't been there many, many years. The last time we were there we were with, with you many years ago oh, yes, when you had spoken time. there. Uh, so it is a wonderful opportunity to uh, be there at the Northport uh, uh, Slavic uh, Pentecostal Church. And um, uh, we're looking forward to being uh, with friends, Boris Alenda Bogdanets and others there. And we hope to see you, Brother Johnny Cret, if, you watch, <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> Maybe you can join us at the service also. We'll be there Sunday morning. And then uh, the following Sunday morning, we will be at the Slavic Church in, uh, I believe that's actually Woodstock, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. We were there yes. two years ago, and we're looking very much forward to that. This Sunday, I will be praying for the sick in the service. So if you have a need, you're in the area, come to Northport uh, to that service. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I believe it's at 10 in the morning. I should have checked that before coming online here. But uh, um, at the large Slavic church there in Northport, Florida, I'll be praying for the sick. If you are in need, be there, and we'd love to meet you in person. And then in Woodstock, Georgia, on December the 12th, December the 19th, at Bethany Slavic Missionary Church in Sacramento on Jackson Highway, um, at the English service there at 12 noon. But um, And now we're going to pray for the sick, and it's not only people that have fear, and I sense that there are many that are watching this or will watch this, that they have fear concerning, especially, uh, I think it's Omatron or something that sounds like that coming out of South Africa. Uh, don't be afraid, because if God be for us, who can be against us? What can be against us? He is King of King, Lord of Lords, and He is God supreme. So if you have fear, or if you are, if you have COVID, lay your hand on your heart. If you've got a cancer, if you've got a fear of cancer, you've got a fear of a disease, not only the disease itself, but the very fear, lay your hand on your heart right now, no matter what your condition is. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we bring the people to you, whether they're young or whether they're old. We send the word in the name of Jesus. First of all, Lord, we come against the spirit of fear because we know the spirit of fear will try to destroy the spirit of faith. 
And we know it is faith that moves mountains. It is faith that opens the eyes of the blind. It is faith that heals the sick. And of course, it's by faith we are saved uh, through the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, we rebuke all fear. Fear, go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Fear of cancer, fear of virus, uh, fear of any new thing coming out of Europe or Africa. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we take authority and we cast it down. All fear must go. And Lord, I ask that you renew faith. That, oh Lord, the word of faith may just come into the hearts and lives of all your believers. We speak to the spirit of cancer, the fear of cancer. Go in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we see there are people out there like Kenny Brown and his family and others just like him, Lord, that are looking to you for healing for other maladies. And we send the word of healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, you see that one holding the baby. They're holding that baby close to their breast. Uh, Lord, uh, their hands are upon that precious baby. Those hands in faith can be like the healing hands of Jesus. Touch that baby. Heal in the name of Jesus. Heal the children. Heal the men. Heal the women, Lord. Heal the young. Heal the old. Heal all that will come to you in faith. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, I know that you're doing it right now. Lord, I feel a heaviness starting to lift. You see that one suffering with that? diabetes, uh, that one Lord that can't breathe, uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, heal, heal those kidneys, uh, Lord, you see Brian out there with that, that been on the dialysis for years, uh, bring healing to his body, create a new kidney, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think or believe. And we believe. And Lord, I ask special blessings upon Brother Walter and Sister Nina, upon their ministry, upon their family, upon their lives. Lord, use them in these days in even a greater fashion that you're already using them. And Lord, those that have partnered with them and with us, like Tom there in Calgary, like uh, like uh, the different ones uh, in the U.S. and Canada and even overseas, Lord, uh, in Slovenia, Lord, uh, in Holland, uh, in the name of Jesus, in England itself, Lord, uh, we just ask your blessings upon yes, those that are blessing them and blessing us in Jesus' precious name. Now raise your hands and say, praise God. Praise, praise God. God from praise whom all Jesus. blessings flow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I said someone in the UK, someone in England, God is touching you. You were discouraged. You were in fear. Fear not is what God is saying to you. Just rise up in this hour. Take your position of authority in Jesus Christ. Do not fall in fear, but stand in faith in the name of Jesus Christ and do what God has called you to do in this hour. Yes Lord. yes, Lord, up there in Manchester, Jesus, down in the other parts of the UK. Touch Amen, people Lord. right now. Yes, in Nepal, Jesus. we send your word yes, back to Pastor Deepak. And all the pastors here yes. in Nepal and in North yes. India yes. with that yes. persecution that has risen yes. against the church. We pray for the pastor yes. who has been put in prison for yes, preaching Lord. the gospel. Yes. Send him free, yes. we pray, oh God. Oh, and use Jesus him where he is Lord. at right now to witness in to those Lord. in prison. Lord, we pray. Pray for our brothers in Cuba. We pray yes. for the yes. church in Cuba. Yes. We're strengthened yes, in Jesus. Give them power and give them the anointing of your Holy Spirit, all that they need to go forth in the name of Jesus Christ. 
And Lord God, in Argentina, do we send your word to Argentina. <coughs> yes, right. Touch people there right now in Jesus' yes, name. Lord, Jesus. Lord God, there are people in Ukraine who will yes, be watching Lord, us now Jesus or later. Name. In the name of Jesus, we send your word. Heal them. Protect yes, them. Lord. We command the spirit of fear yes, to leave yes, people. And we speak protection. Yes, we speak yes, peace Lord, into Jesus. that situation. And Lord Jesus. God, what the enemy intended for evil, turn it around for good in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Work a Jesus. miracle yes. there yes. in Jesus' name. In Jesus', Jesus name. name. Lord, uh, yes. uh, we, we send your word around the world. I send such a strong yes. anointing yes. of your yes. Holy yes. Spirit as uh, your healing power yes. is going forth uh, in Jesus. Asia, to Asia, to the African yes. continent, to the Middle East, to yes. Jordan, to, um, the, uh, to Israel and Jerusalem yes. in particular. Yes. We speak oh, peace yes. over Jesus. Jerusalem in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. We thank you. We thank you. We thank God. God is moving. Yes. Oh, there's such a strong anointing. Yes. God is touching people around the world. Receive your healing right thank now. You, Jesus. Just, just uh, begin to thank God. Thank you, Jesus. God, I am healed. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. You pay for my healing. I receive my healing. I thank you for my healing. And now I put my faith into action. Try to do what you yes. could not do. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brother Tony, do you sense anything out there? I, I sense even now that the Spirit of God is telling people to believe and to receive. Until you act upon what God is speaking to your heart, you won't have anything. But if you obey him, if you listen to him, you listen to that voice in your in your spirit telling you what to do, you won't go wrong. Especially, remember this, when the Holy Spirit speaks to you, it will not be contrary to the word of God. What he tells you in your spirit is really coming from the word. He never goes against his word. And I'm thinking of his word that says, I am. Not I was, not I'm going to be, but he says, I am in the present tense. I am the Lord that healeth thee. That might be old English. Healeth thee. It heals you. That's what he's doing right now. Receive it and you shall have it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Write us and let us know what God has done for you, what he is doing. If you have prayer needs, write those down as well. But don't forget to write your praise reports. Uh, don't be like those nine lepers who were healed. Only the tenth one uh, returned to thank Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, but nine of them just went on their way and forgot to mm -hmm. even come back and thank right. the Lord. So be thankful to God. <clears throat> praise Him. That is how you maintain your healing. Amen. And uh, write us. Let us know. And uh, um, I, I want to say this. If you have not received Jesus as your Savior, mm -hmm. open your heart right now. Yes. And just say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Amen. Forgive me all of my sins. Amen. Come into my heart. Yes, Lord. Forgive Forgive me of all my sins. I renounce all the work of Satan in my yes. life. I turn my Amen. life over completely, 100% to you. Save me, O oh God, in Jesus' name. And if you pray that prayer, Jesus has come into your heart. Amen. He has forgiven your sins. Amen. Do three things every day. Talk to God by praying. Allow him to speak to you by reading yes. his word, the Bible, and thirdly, tell our others you are yes. a follower of Jesus yes. and find a Bible-believing, Bible-preaching church amen. where you can grow mm -hmm. in your faith. Amen. Amen. Um, amen and amen. Brother Tony, thank you so much for Enjoy being a part. Uh, any final uh, thoughts or words that you sense here? There's victory, victory, glorious victory to everyone that believes. Amen. Amen. And remember, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and forever. forever.